Hey, welcome to Travel Tuesday Happy Hour, where we interview dope people doing dope things with one thing in common, the love for travel. We have a great guest lined up. Grab a drink. Stay tuned. What's going on, Travel Fam? If you ever thought about starting a podcast, check out Anchor. Anchor is free. Anchor will provide you tools to record and edit your podcast from your phone or your computer. Anchor will also distribute your podcast to multiple streaming platforms like Spotify, Apple Podcasts, and many more. You can make money from your podcast with no minimum listenership. Everything you need right in one app. Download the free Anchor app or go to anchor.fm to get started. My past guest, Emma, and him are siblings. And hey, you know, what's going on? Will you tell us who you are and what do you do? I'm Gene, um, a proud black man. I'm living in America today, Haitian of, of Haitian descent. Um, I have two brothers, three sisters, like you know, Emma. So, related closely through some interweaves of family, but um, yeah. And I'm a right now I'm a principal software engineer at a Fortune 100 company. I've um, been there for a couple of years. Um, and then the other thing I also do is I volunteer. Um, when I was in New Hampshire, I volunteered with kids, um, teaching them how to code. And then now um, I work with this organization called Save Black Space, really helping them on their technology and bringing along a forum that allows people of African descent to come together and talk about past oppressions. Um, but first, they, do, they learn a bit about what happens in our history. And then you go and break out into like small little groups to talk about like how you're feeling and the various microaggressions that you feel and work through on a day to base, day basis. And it's like a real place to heal as well. That's super dope. I mean, I definitely need to talk to you after that because I didn't know you were in the tech industry. And so am I. So that's, that's awesome. So what got you to traveling in the first place? Um, I started traveling when I was just a kid like my parents they would go to like trips on like dc uh where we have family or we go to jersey or even canada we did a lot of trips in a car six seven hours driving up to canada montreal ottawa um and then that was all like a little bit domestically a little bit out of the country and then traveled to haiti when i was even younger around like nine um so i like that was an eye-opening experience because you get to see where your family and your culture is from so that's one ex- um, example for me. And then that really broadened the experience for me because I want to know, like, what do other cultures experience? So that's the, my passion for traveling, really, especially around food. I love food. So yeah. real big foodie. Um, what keeps me traveling is really around the aspect of learning. Um. And learning about different cultures, experiencing, like you know, even doing different experiences. So a couple of countries I've been to was, for example, going back to Haiti. Like, did you know you could like go out to the ocean, catch that fish, and they grill it right in front of you? Like, like <laughs> so I'm a big fan of seafood and I love lumbi. So lumbi for all the people that aren't um, Haitian is called conch. So if you're not familiar with that, go and eat that. But it's a really good seafood that you could eat usually they put it in some marinade but for them like they went out to the water they caught it and then i was able to eat it fresh from the water so it was like even though like they say haiti is not a um a rich country it's a poor country but like you get it you get it like their food is organic and like they say hey like out here you're buying organic food but like there you're getting it from the nature you're growing it and you're able to catch it from the waters that's dope that's dope yeah i mean that's the same reason i travel too it's just I travel, actually, my number one reason for traveling is food. So I'm a fat kid on the inside, and it's all about the food whenever I visit a country. Um, so um, with that said, um, you just missed Haitian Heritage Month, right? Actually, it was yesterday, right? So, um, so I, this question is going to be twofold for you, right? Um, you know, how, and because you started the conversation about Right. Um, so how is being a black man in America um, and then traveling internationally? And number two, 
Um, how does being a proud Haitian black man look up, right? Because it, it's not it's not always a synonymous experience. You know what I mean? So um, just just talk about that. So being a black man in America can sometimes be challenging um, depending on the situations you encounter. Um, I've known I've gone and gone into places with well and good intentions that, hey, I'm just here to buy something. But walking around like you have somebody following you in the store or looking at you funny thinking like you're going to rob them. You're going to do something of like deter them or like so like I'm going with good intentions, but like the way other people view me is sometimes not the case because like kind of a decent like size guy so like I'm a little bit taller than most people but then they would look at me and they just kind of scared so they just had that impression like hey like what is this person gonna do I'm like he has bad intentions whereas for me i know i don't have that um and traveling internationally it's so that being in the u.s it always makes me like hey like i want to make sure my head stays on the swivel be alert um brings them back to like when i was traveling um, to California. So I moved from New Hampshire, I lived there for a couple of years working. I'm from um, New York, um, lived in New Hampshire for a couple of years. And then we decided, me and my girlfriend decided to move all the way out to um, some California, Sacramento. So that's a like a cross trip, road trip, like driving. So we're going across the car, across the country in a car navigating all these different states so like for me it was like hey like if we're gonna do it do you do this road trip let's make sure we're staying at safe locations staying at um like big name hotels make sure we're only driving during the daytime so just more of a like cautious like hey like be safe while i'm driving out here and then internationally so and then how is how is being Asian? how does being Asian kind of impact your travel like I said, we missed it last. I missed you last month, so I'm gonna throw in a question. You know what I mean? Yeah, I was like, I, I was ready for a last one. I was like, man, I have all these questions I wanted to ask and talk about by being Haitian. Um, so for me, being Haitian is just proud because we come from a country that was got its first independence. Really, um, it was a catalyst for that. Um, even though it hasn't turned out the way we wanted to be, where they're like. Um, it's for me. It was always it's kind of weird because you have Haiti that li is on the same island of um, DR, but the economics is not the same. So, like, how do we bring Haiti up to that level? Um, but for, it's still a proud moment for me because I have a lot of love for my family, I'm friends, and now Haiti gets a lot of love. Whereas before in the past, you didn't. But growing up, like my community was always strong, family. Um, and then that's it. All right. Cool. So what what are some projects that you're working on that you know you want people to know about? Um, so right now I'm not working on anything per se, but with everything that's going on today in this world, um some of it you can't really control. So I've been on a journey of self-love, learning. Um and really in terms of sometimes you're not okay with yourself. So like my girlfriend started this project um, business um, the last few weeks in terms of during this coronavirus, really in terms of like, how do you feel okay with yourself? How do you make sure you, you're worthy? And things of like healthy affirmations on, around that topic in terms of helping you as an individual to be healthy. So you can check her out at AJ, A-J-A-I Scott.com. And she's also on IG. Yeah, just make sure you um, tag me in anything that you're posting. That way, I can repost it. Yeah, I'll do that. So um, beyond that, and I'm gonna ask you a question from last month, right? What's your favorite Haitian dish? Lumbi is the first one, and then tasso. Okay. So lumbi is the first one, and then tasso is the second one. Tasso and di um, di agjonzo. Okay, and. Um, too bad I can't get that out in California. So, okay. Um, so, how's yeah. California been treating you? Is, are you guys still on lockdown? Yes, we are still on lockdown, but places are slowly opening. Whereas, like, they have outdoor dining open, but indoor is still closed. There's actually, like, learned last week, like, there's some counties that never even closed. So, like, it really depends on the area. Like, the closer you are, get to the city, 
Um, it's more locked down. Like San Francisco is like completely locked down. Like they're like indefinitely quarantined. Um, where, where I live at in Sacramento, like they have dates and targets that they're trying to hit to make sure like people are safe. But I don't see myself going out to any places anytime soon anyway. So. Okay, so you're not you're not planning on going anywhere anytime soon from there. Not flying per se, but I know um in July we're gonna take a week off, so we're just gonna really drive around the coast of California. I really enjoy that because California is a big state. It goes from like think of a year in the East Coast, you go from upstate New York down to like Maryland or something. So I'm in Northern California. So um, last weekend I just went hiking. So doing things like that with the nature. Um, just exploring the state that I'm in because it's California. So, like, someplace I've always wanted to come when I was younger. So, now that I have some free time, I want to go and explore. So, the okay, beach, cool. you know, so. so, last question. Where is your favorite place to visit? Where's my So, sorry, you broke out. Oh, my fault. Where's your favorite place to visit? I, my favorite place to visit was a couple of years ago was in Australia. Um, there I was able to go to the Great Barrier Reef and swim in it. So that was like an amazing experience. Once one that I wish I took more advantage of in terms of going um, snorkeling. Uh, I did snorkeling, but I wish I went scuba diving because the water was so blue, so clear. Um, and it's one of those eight wonders of the world. So. Oh, that's dope. That's dope. Well, thank you for jumping on. I really appreciate it. Make sure you tell everybody where to find you. All right, we'll do. Yeah, you can find me on J on Instagram, J Sleepy eighty nine. Um, the sleepy is because I like to sleep. So, <laughs> there you go. Oh, don't be all. All right, good brother. Thank you for checking right. on. All right. Thank you very much. All right, take care. Another dope conversation. Keep traveling and stay safe. Until next time, peace.